Hey guys, it's Panda. I'm just doing a quick little unboxing here, comparison unboxing of these two pairs of earbuds. Um, I had a pair of these for the last few weeks that I've been trying out, and unfortunately they're not as um, user-friendly as some people on YouTube are making it out to be. Um, there's been a lot of raving reviews about these. Um, this pair in particular in black and white that's available on Amazon that people have been raving about and loving all these tech reviewers and so I got a pair based on that and I didn't have very good experience so I was going to return them and they sent me a new pair. I was trying to get the white ones again or this time instead of the black ones because I already have those and I wanted the white ones to go with my new um, ROG Ally console. But they sent me the black ones because I couldn't select the white ones as a replacement. And we'll see if these are a better experience, hopefully. They're pretty cheap. They're only, they were under $25. So um, if you can find them for that much and you want to try this brand out, um, Moondrop, they're supposed to be really, I mean, actually, is this from Moondrop? Yeah, these are from Moondrop Space Travel. But... It's the same company that puts out these Nico Cake ones that I got from Japan. I've seen a few different Nico Cake ones. One of them was white with like little gold cats on them. And that's the one I was going to get before I saw these. Um, these are like obviously cooler anime um, frontline, girls frontline um, anime brand, uh, style instead of just the plain cat ones. So I'm going to try these out and see because these are white and they have a pretty cool looking uh, design to them. But I'm pretty sure these are made by the same company as the Moondrop ones because on Amazon they were recommended by the same company. So I was under the impression they were. I might be wrong. But considering these have an anime girl on them also and they're both from Japan. Um... I'm not seeing, some of this is Japanese, so it's hard to tell, so I'm not really seeing an equal, equal um, like, name, company name or anything on here. These are Moondrop, Space Travel, these are Nico Cake, Girls Frontline Limited, so maybe they are different, but either way, I'll put a link to both of these on Amazon in the description. Let's start with the smaller ones that I've opened before, but I can show you guys what you get in here. Um, I would love to try the white ones someday, but I already have a shit ton of earbuds, so I probably won't bother, especially if these work well. Um, I'm happy with the earbuds I've got, I guess, as long as I don't lose them like I keep doing. So it comes in this nice little slide open box. You open it like this. Kind of like a little gift box. And um, it can slide it out like this. And then this has the ear tips and the charge cord in it. It's a USB-C charger. It comes with three other ear set tips, I believe. Um, this little See, I noticed this when I had the first pair. It starts lighting up as soon as you pick them up. And that's regardless of this being the first time or not. Every time I pick up the pair that's on my table, they start doing that. And that may be why they keep dying so quickly. I don't know why they do that when they aren't even being used or taken out of the case or anything. Um, as you can see, they're like slide-out ones. So you... Um, you can't like close up the case and make sure it's closed up good. They're like, you, you just slide them out like this basically is what I do. Um, there's a USB-C charge on the bottom. And then they have these slide out design like that. And uh, I will try these out along with the other pair over the next few days and see which one I like better and which, if this one works better than the first pair I got. I'm gonna have to charge them both probably for a little while. But yeah, they do go in nicely. They're usually easy to pull out if you have like traction on your fingers. You can just pull them both out at once or you can pull them out one at a time with your nails. Um, 
they don't usually fall out on their own as, unless you really try like that. So as long as you keep them vertical like this in your bag or your pocket or even sideways, they probably won't fall out. Um, you know, set them in your bag like that or like that. I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, the problem I had with these, the pair I already have, is um, they kept disconnecting and then the one side, the left side, kept dying way before the other side. And it would say battery, low battery, like within two hours of me using them. And this one would be dead and then this one would still be running. So I don't know if it was just not contacting the charger part parts on the bottom properly. But I'm going to give it a try again and see if it works better this time. And maybe I'll be happier with it. But yeah, these were only like $25 to $26 when I got them. So that's a pretty good deal for these. Um, they're Bluetooth 5.3 and, you know, they have a good touch sensitive uh, bar on the side. And uh, they sound pretty good. I mean, they're not hugely noise canceling. It says there's four hours on the earphones and 12 on the case. I would say I got maybe two to three hours on the earbuds, but that's what, like I said, because the other one, the one earbud kept dying. So it might work better now. Um, 12 hours on the case sounds about right. I think I only charge them twice before I need to plug them in again, but I usually don't drain the entire thing anyway. So yeah, let's move on to this one and see what goodies we have in here. This is a pretty big box for the same size, you know, basically the same size of earbuds that you're getting. But let's see what we get. Maybe we get more stuff in here. Japanese uh, products tend to have a lot more quality to them than anything you'll get here. I've noticed um, like every art book I order from Japan is immaculate and it, it's well worth the price usually and it comes in a nice tight plastic sleeve and it's got like a little uh, paper sleeve around it and everything that's so nicely packaged. So I always appreciate getting stuff from Japan. It's always nice to unbox. Got a nice holographic design here. I'll probably have this on my shelf somewhere. Nice rainbowy holographic design. Let's see what we've got. Nice. Got another box here. There we go. Ooh, sweet. Okay. So it all comes separately. What the heck could possibly be under here? Everything's on top. Is there something under here? Because there's a pull tab. Oh, yeah, okay. So, oh my god, dude, they, they, they class it up in Japan, dude. Quality control card, warranty card, massive manual. Yo, is this like music or something? What the heck? There's all kinds of shit in here, bro. Look at this. What's this? This is a scratch card, limited edition. Assault, oh, okay, it's a, it's a game. It's like an NFT game thing, assault rifle. I assume you put this code in for um, a frontline game rifle of some kind. I'll probably just keep it with my art cards. And then you have like a a literal acrylic doll stand right here. This is This is something they do in Japan instead of having like actual figurines. Um, they'll make these nice uh, 2D acrylic cutout stands and like put them on these little plastic bases. And then we've got another, oh it's just the back card for that, but yeah that's a nice little collectible. Moon drop on there. That's sweet, yeah I'll probably put that on my shelf. I don't mind that. Um, it's a lot more than you get from, like I said, the U.S. where you just get, you know, three pairs of ear tips and a little tiny short charge cord. So yeah, this is really nice. I'm, I'm impressed with the amount of stuff you get. I would have preferred like some stickers instead of a card, but that's okay. It's still a lot more than I thought would be in here. So let's see. Everything's pretty much laid out in here. It's a nice like velvety plastic um, tray, inset tray here. It's a little velvety white 
And it's got, oh, this is like a clear case for it. You can put over the top of the other one if I can get it out. It's like a rubberized, it's like the phone cases you can get. It's just a plastic rubberized protective case. And it's got a lanyard thing on it. Not sure how well that would stay on, but that's pretty cool. I actually like the design of the case by itself. Girls front line, automatic rifle. I mean, it is a little plasticky cheap, but it still looks pretty cool. Bluetooth 5.2, so this is slightly older than the other pair. 2022. Um, let's see. Nice. Got a green LED on there. Let's get these popped in and see if we can get them charging so I can try them out. Maybe. These are... There we go really stuck in there but yeah these look pretty sweet I'm, I'm pretty excited to try these they do look exactly the same like design as the other uh, the black ones but I'm hoping that the one pair I had problems with was just a, uh, a fluke or like a, the one pair was bad so let's try charging these and see how they how they fare compared to the other ones. There's a nice cutout for the charge port so you don't have to take it out of the case. There's a button back here, I assume, for pairing. And then the lid goes on. That should stay on okay. Yeah. That's got like a it's got like a um, trigger sight on there. That's pretty cool. You can just hang it off your backpack or something, your purse. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Anyway, yeah, we've got the USB-C charge cord and the ear tips. And that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. I always do. It's pretty much the only time I get to open things like this. So, um, let me know what you guys think. Which one you guys like the best. And I will link these down below. I don't get any cut or anything from it. It's just a showing you where I got mine type of thing. Um, if you're in the U.S., you can get them on Amazon. These were 30 bucks, I think. Maybe 40 at the most. Um, 30, 35 bucks. Um, so they're a little more than the other pair, but I can see why. I mean, you get a really nice unboxing experience and you get a case and you get ex extra stuff. And it's obviously like made for anime fans or for frontline fans. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I've got some of my doshinji that have all these uh, frontline girls in them and I think their artwork's pretty sweet so that's pretty cool can't wait to try these out um, I really like them I'll definitely be using them like out in public and stuff so I can't wait to try it hope you guys enjoyed and hope you're having a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching peace out